having their diagnosis of cystic fibrosis years ago meant the kid was only going to live maybe to 10, 12 years. Today, we expect them to live a longer time. Is that true? That's very true. We've made great advances in the treatment of cystic fibrosis using enzymes, using antibiotics, using uh, techniques and medications to break down all this thick mucus. Where once upon a time the average life expectancy was very young, now patients with cystic fibrosis can, be, can expect to live 30, 40, 50 years or more. In fact, we're learning that there are very mild cases of cystic fibrosis where people have relatively normal lifespans. And so depending on the Some form, were undiagnosed, weren't they? Some were undiagnosed, and I've had patients who were diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when they are 50 or 60 years old with chronic bronchitis, and somebody finally thought to do the test. So the range of disease is very broad, but even in the most severe forms of the disease, our treatment has improved so much to live 30, 40 years is not at all unusual any longer. In fact, uh, bad asthmatic, it's probably included in the workup to include a cystic fibrosis test. Is that true? No, absolutely. I think any child who's had very severe asthma or even moderate asthma, which may have been difficult to treat, certainly anyone who's had pneumonia more than once, should all get uh, given, be given a sweat test at least once just to make sure that we're not missing the diagnosis. And because there's this mucus in the lung, they have a new treatment to like make it thinner or something? There are new medications out there, one of which is called DNAase or Pulmazyme, which actually, when inhaled, breaks down all of that thick mucus so that the child can then able to cough it up and spit it out more easily. By breaking up that mucus and keeping the lungs clear of it, you actually prevent infection and support the lung function and normal lung growth. Is that available for all kids with cystic fibrosis with a lung complication today? Absolutely. It's a drug that's readily available. It's been approved for many years now. And in fact, if there are financial issues where the parent can't afford it, there are programs to help support the financial cost of the medication as well. So that's a, a part with doctors, our doctors and our businessmen, but do the right thing. Yeah. Every once in a while that happens. Thank God.